So I have my flap pieces here. I've got my cork and my interior fabric. I'm gonna line the two up together. We're gonna clip. So you wanna make sure the right side's facing together and your short and your seven inches is where the bottom of your flap is going to be. So I like to use a um, mason jar lid to just trace in the two bottom corners. Now you don't have to use a mason jar, you can use a glass, whatever you want. I mean, if you don't even want rounded corners on your flap, you don't have to. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut both fabrics along this curved line. Unclip it now. Now I'm going to measure. Sorry, guys. So we want it one inch up from the edge and we want it centered. So three and a half inches. Because remember this is seven inches here. So one inch, make a little dot. I have a like, nice fabric marker here. I'm gonna take your magnetic backing, you're gonna place it over your, your dot and you're gonna mark inside the two slit lines. See? You're going to take your stitch ripper and you're going to cut along just those two slits. Maybe a little hard because the interfacing, the uh, fleece is a little hard to cut through sometimes. I mean, you could do it on the other side too. I think that's actually what the pattern says to do. Okay. Now we're going to take our little scrap piece of fleece. We're going to do the same two slit lines in the center, as best as we can get. Now for this, I like to use my scissors. So what I like to do is just fold them in half. Don't cut your fingers. And just cut the two slit lines. See, I almost cut my thumb. My brand new fingernails. Okay. With the front. So this is called the male part of your magnetic snap. You're gonna put your two prongs through the two slits. You're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna put your scrap piece. This is just for extra protection because you're gonna be opening and closing your purse all the time. You're gonna fold these two prongs out with your thumbs. Okay, so you're gonna get your cork piece back. Again, right sides facing together. I'm gonna to go ahead and clip it just because the cork can be a little slippery so when you're stitching it, it might be moving. So you're gonna go over here using your quarter inch seam allowance. You're gonna stitch along the very edge, leaving the top unsewn. Giving the clips, of course, as you go along. Now I like to take my corners a little slow so I get exactly a good curve. Now you see I've got the magnet facing up magnetic backing there because you otherwise it'll get caught in your plate. So again, just taking it slowly. Perfect. Now you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut little slits to just before your stitching. And this is so when you turn your flap it's not grazing crazy bulky and you're actually going to get a nice curve on the outside. Okay, so there we go. Push it out. Stick your hand in. Use your thumbs. I love using my thumbs to do this. 
Now, if you want, you can give this a light iron. After, do not iron on the cork side. Iron will break down the cork faster. And we don't want that on your pretty purse. So I like to roll the seams. And what I'll do is I'll actually clip as well, just to help keep those seams in good spot. In a good spot. You see, clipping along, making sure my seams are nice and rolled out. So I don't lose very much of my shape of my, my flap. I want to make sure you're thinking, Amy, we're not going to do the next step face down, are we? Nope. We're going to do the next step face up because, again, the magnetic snap is going to get caught on your sewing machine plate and that's going to cause your stitches to zigzag. So as long as your stitches are good on your machine, your top stitch and your bottom stitch are going to look fabulous. So again, we're going to stitch all around the edge using one eighth inch seam allowance. Let me just in. Move the clips as you go. Hands over those. Again, take my corner slowly. It's going to be a little bulky there from the fabric. See? Far enough away from that magnetic snap, too. Nothing hits. Have to worry about closing. Don't worry about closing the top. It's going to be hidden in a seam allowance. There you go. There's your nice flap. 